Hello, welcome back. I need more tea. I'm in Kikuchiba. <laughs> I'm looking for... Uh, I hate that it does that. Okay, I have to go down the toll way. I'm getting there. Something's there. There's a lot. There's a lot of weapons. That's a lot of power enhancers. Is this a good way to start the episode? I'm gonna say it is. It's a pretty great way to start the episode. Oh my god. Oh! Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a starry sky vision. So I need a Marabo Pandu analysis. <laughs> <laughs> Mar Marbo Pandu, Mar Marble Pandu, which is from an enemy called the Marble Pandu, which is found here somewhere. <laughs> Help! I don't know how to say these names. <laughs> I'm determined to max out at least one of my bonds, and this seems to be the way to do it. Um, I go upstairs. Am I a I am still in the sub level, I think. I just have to find those Marabo whatevers. Marabo pandos. Pandus. Marabo pandas. You're not them. I will still obliterate you just as quickly, though. I need the experience. Still not the thing. Yep, here it is. Here's the real one. And it's dead. I want the Marble Pando. I want the Marble Pando. I'm still in the sub level underground facility. That's where they're supposed to be. Now I'm frustrated. Wait, this is them. Yeah. Please drop the thing I need. Please drop the thing I need so I can leave immediately. Please drop the thing. <gasps> I have the thing I need. <laughs> Since when has it ever happened to me in a game where I'm looking for something specific and I get it immediately? I just want to kill this thing though. Alright, cool. I want to leave. I'm gonna go. Are you guys okay with that? I'm just gonna leave. Goodbye. <laughs> I gotta get to this other point. Yeah, it, it is, especially when I've achieved my number one end goal of coming here, which is receiving the Marubo Pandu analysis, whatever, majig. <laughs> Technical term. Where am I? Hello? Oh, there we go. It's okay, I'm just directionally impaired. Looks like there's a resource reading. Did I actually pick it up? Wow! I had room for that one. <laughs> hey, Kasane. Oh, it's storming outside. Oh, good. Uh, <gasps> I can make the thing. Ah! <laughs> oh. I'm not doing that. I'm sorry, Sugumi, but right now my focus is on Hanabi. <laughs> I'm going to the hideout. Bye, guys. <laughs> I got gifts to give. It's motherfucking Christmas. <laughs> you get this. It's gorgeous.
Oh my god, she's so happy about it. The stars are so romantic. It's like the universe came alive inside the hideout. The sky is so beautiful outside. The extinction belt. I hope st I hope to see it someday. With you. I want to talk to Luca for a change. I don't. <laughs> Not yet. I had two gifts to give Hanabi. <laughs> wow, I'm so happy. You are um, My weapon needs oil. And I feel like that expensive oil made it more powerful. I will complete my bonding event with you. We will be max bonded. We will fuse together and become the Yuotohanabi. <laughs> <laughs> do I have any gifts for Luca? Oh, I do! He already has that! That's bullshit! Fine. <laughs> Bond episode. Yuito, I have a favor to ask. Will you climb Hieno Mountain with me? Sure, but why? Was there another warning there or something? No, I just want to climb the mountain. The truth is... I'm still worried about my power. Lifting weights is not enough to shake my insecurity. I want to put myself in an extreme situation to clear my thoughts. And you thought of Hieno Mountain. But you had a pretty tough time climbing it before. It was certainly difficult climbing the mountain with this body. But that's why I want to do it. I want to climb it with my own strength and see just how strong I've become. So I don't want you to help unless it's an emergency, or another appears. You want to test your limits? Okay, but don't do anything crazy. Thank you very much. <sighs> Maybe we should take a break. I can still go on. I'm sorry for causing you some problems of late. Don't worry about it. It's good to talk to someone. I understand in theory that I shouldn't let losing my power bother me. But being a dud is something that has occupied my mind for a very long time. A dud's quality of life is hardly considered in current Nuhimuka society. It's the same as if they don't exist. If I lose my power, that's what will happen to me, and that scares me. I guess not being able to see the net or visions is the same as being ignored by the world. But since they're outside of society, doesn't that mean they can change it from the outside? That's just idealism. Society does not work that way. That may be true, but that doesn't mean you should just give up. You're still young enough to have hopes like that. I've been alive in this world for decades. I'm painfully aware of what can and cannot be done. I am not the child that I appear to be. I know you're not a child, so don't give up so easily. If you don't face the problem like an adult, nothing will change. But... but I... Uh... Watch out! Th thank you. You saved me. Oh, that was scary. I'm glad you didn't slip. Oh, I guess you could have teleported. It happened so fast. If I had fallen, that may have been it. You ended up saving me, even though I said I was here to test my own strength. Does it matter? I mean, I only helped you then. You climbed all this way by yourself. It's okay to get help when you really need it. I don't think being strong is doing everything by yourself without anyone's help. <laughs> I see. Oh, sorry. That was a little high-handed. No, you're right. You made me think of my brother. Former Major General Karin? He is adored by everyone. But he trusts no one and takes all the burdens on himself. I've always followed in my brother's footsteps. But I don't need to follow his path anymore. I don't want to be like Karin. 
In fact, I shouldn't be. <sighs> Yuito, I apologize for getting emotional. No, I was mouthing off too. Let's call it even. All right. Now, let's get to the top. If we don't hurry, the sun will set before we get down. <sighs> We're here. Oh, we made it. You did it. Yes, it was the result of my daily exercise. And your help. I was just along for the ride. Like I said, you got here on your own. Thank you. New Himuka looks so small from here. From this far away, the people look like ants. It's strange. Small people, big people, psionics, duds. They are all just specks when seen from far away. Nations and societies are just gatherings of those specks. If that's the case, perhaps something can be done. Looks like he has an idea. I guess the mountain climbing helped. All right. Thanks to our climb, I understand what issue I must focus on. That's great. So you're not worried anymore? No. First, I must get bigger. You don't mean taller, do you? <laughs> I mean mentally. You can't change the world alone. It requires small efforts by many people. So I want to have the capacity to accept everyone's ideas without losing myself. If I can depend on people, and be depended on, anything is possible. I see. You look satisfied. Yes, but this is only the beginning. I still have far to go. I'm impressed. He seems bigger already. Okay, I have to get to work too. Oh, how spirited. We should train together then. I will make a program right away. What? Oh man, can't we just take it easy today? I always looked up to my brother's strength. But lately, I believe that your kind of strength is what I should aspire to. What? I don't think I'm very strong, though. I don't mean your power or fighting prowess. Perhaps I should say strength of mind. You don't compromise. I think I could change if I had your unbending will. I got a phone call in the middle of that scenario. I forgot to start my timer up. Prolonged SAS effect! Fucking finally! Oh! I feel like I'm another step closer to knowing you. Well, I'm taking a step closer too, so it's like we both did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> my body was like, no! <laughs> My body is sore all over the after that. Even I cannot say we should continue training after we get back. I am filled with a sense of accomplishment. However, it was not only making the, the climb, but because you were with me, Yuito. Thank you. I should thank you. I learned a lot from you, Luca. I feel like I'm on the verge of understanding something, too. Can we talk again while we're exercising? Of course. I am with you all the way. From now on, when we feel lost, let us remember the view from the top of Hiano Mountains. Yeah! <laughs> Friends! Now it's time to talk to the guy who hates me. <laughs> he only, he only kind of hates me. He's starting to like me more over time. Are you going somewhere, Shiden? Yeah, I'm going to see the thunderclouds. Thunderclouds? Is there a storm coming in? Is it safe to be outside? Apparently these are the biggest in decades. This is a chance to see real lightning. It's a little dangerous, but I can't pass it up. Wow. 
Now that I think of it, I've only ever seen images of real lightning. Oh, I don't mind if you tag along, if you're interested. Sounds fun. I'll take you up on that. All right, then get ready. We'll miss the thunderclouds if we take too long. I've never seen him this excited. See those big black clouds over there? Those are thunderclouds. Wow, cool. The clouds look like mountains. So the lightning will come from there? The forecast said it should be soon. I wonder what kind of lightning it'll be. You really like lightning, don't you? Is it because of your power? Yeah. It feels familiar. And it might give me a clue for using my power. I also love the remote and powerful image of lightning. I'd like to be like that. Remote and powerful. That does sound like him. Oh! A lightning strike! Did you see that? Yeah, that's crazy. I just kind of tagged along, but this is way better than I expected. Whoa, that was close. I saw it so clearly. Hey, Shiden, lightning is really cool. Damn right. <laughs> what did you expect? Why do you sound so proud? It's so beautiful. That powerful light. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. The clouds are breaking up. It's over. Ah, that was awesome. It was. You seem down. Are you sad that it's gone? Yeah. But it got me thinking, too. Compared to that awesome force, my power is nothing. Well, you're up against a natural phenomenon. Of course a human can't stand up to that. I know that. It's not just lightning. Even compared to other people. I'm weak. I wanted to be as strong as Captain Seto someday. I thought if I worked hard, I could be a Septentrion. I worked for years like that, but I still have no title. I'm still just... Shiden. I know that I'm stronger than I was before, but maybe this is as strong as I'm going to get. That's not like you. Is earning the title of Septentrion that important? Of course it is. It's the OSF's proof of strength. If I have it, no one can say I'm not good enough. I don't disagree that the Septentrions are amazing, but there are powerful people like Arashi that don't have any special titles. You're strong too. I think so, and so does everybody else. Isn't that enough? I want more solid proof of my strength, so that everyone has to accept it. The reason everyone appreciated Captain Seto wasn't just because of his strength in battle. He was able to move people. He encouraged them, and made them brave. He had strengths that I don't have. My plan was to use this mask once I thought I had reached his level. But if that day won't come, then maybe I shouldn't have it. Don't say that. Captain Seto had it made just for you. He had this mask made because he thought I would become strong like him. As long as I can't meet those expectations, I can't wear it. Don't be stupid. That's not Captain Seto's mask. It's your mask. So you have to use it. You don't have to be like him. What? I look up to him too, but his strength is different from ours, just like you said. And it's fine that it's different. Each of us are strong in our own ways. Strong in my own way. Pretty wise words for a rookie. I was being a little arrogant, but you know what I mean. In his message, Captain Seto did say that I should trust my own strength. He knew even back then what I was lacking. It looks like I've been worrying about the wrong things. Lightning's beauty isn't meant to be compared to anyone else. And it doesn't exist to receive a title. It 
just exists, and it's known throughout the world. That's the strength I need. You look like you feel better. <laughs> I wasn't feeling bad in the first place. I was just a little confused, but not anymore. That mask suits you. Of course it does. It was made for me. I guess I should thank you. I won't say this is thanks to you, but if we hadn't talked, my mind wouldn't have changed. Well, you're welcome. If you keep this up, it won't be long before you're a Septentrion. No, I don't need some worn-out title like Septentrion anymore. I want to be more. The best of the best. A title from someone else wouldn't suit me. My name itself will be synonymous with strength. So the highest title in the OSF will be Shiden? <laughs> I don't think anyone would want that. That's fine. That strength is only for me to achieve. I don't think that's quite right either. But I get the gist of it. Then I'll do my best to be the strongest Yuito. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a title that's far from your reach. You have a lot of work to do. <gasps> Obtain Seto's custom mask. Hey, don't overdo it. Yeah. Thanks, Shiden. That was awfully straightforward. Listen, I'm not being friendly with you. It's just that keeping yourself in good condition... What are you doing? I hate when you make that stupid face. Yay. Prolonged SAS effect. It's good being able to push each other to greater heights. I I'm not necessarily talking about us, though. Yeah, yeah. But I'm hoping our relationship is like that. Hey. <laughs> I got a brain message. I didn't think you'd be so excited to see lightning. It's not bad to have someone who can share your interests. I never knew that. I've never seen you that worked up before, Sheedon. Those thunderclouds really are amazing. Or really were amazing, though. I hope you invite me again. Yeah, I feel like I can say things before the power of nature that I normally never could. I will invite you again. If I feel like it. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I want to give him, I want to give him the thing. Uh, where are you, shooting? Visuals. <gasps> He's already wearing it! That's fucking cool! Wait, I didn't notice he was already wearing it! Dude! Oh, that's cool. Oh, he already has the thing out. Oh, no, this is, this is, um, uh, Hanabi's. Neat! I'm gonna hang out with Gemma next. Do you have a second, Yuito? There's somewhere I'd like to take you. Okay. Where are we going? A cemetery near Sumeragi Tomb. I'm going to go pay respects to my friend Masaki. There wasn't a body we could bury, but his brother added his name to the family grave. So he has a proper grave. Yeah, let's go. Are you sure you don't need more time? No, well, this was enough. He already knew everything I wanted to tell him. I was thinking about what went down at Mizuhagawa. There were so many people discarded that way. Yeah. We only found one truck's worth, but I'm sure there were many more before it. They say that many retired soldiers die quickly or go missing. I thought it was just the toll of serving in the OSF. But it could be all the government's doing, trying to secure the brains they need. I wouldn't be surprised if the government did that. It's chilling to think about. They use what's useful and discard what isn't. People are just tools to this nation. But we aren't tools. We have a chance for another life when we can't fight anymore. I won't forgive them for taking away that possibility and discarding them like trash. I feel the same. That's the way they treated my best friend. You mean Nagi? Yeah. He and Masaki both had so much life ahead of them. We need to end these types of things from happening in our lifetime. I thought that my role in the OSF was ending. But it looks like there's this giant task still left. 
I want to right this nation's wrongs and protect the future as someone who is still remaining. You're not planning on doing that all by yourself, are you? I'd like to help too. Thanks. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. Well, shall we head back to the hideout? Hey, there's somewhere I want to stop by. Okay. Where are we going? I wanted to go to this restaurant, but I couldn't bring myself to go in alone. I'd be grateful if you came with me. Surprise original Gyoza Suzaku. That's an impressive sounding place. I became more interested in food since our last excursion. I started looking up trendy new restaurants on food websites when I have time. So, you have a new hobby. Is it nearby? Yeah. I realized when I looked at the website that Masaki and I used to go there together all the time. The restaurant's name and atmosphere completely changed after the previous owner died, so I hadn't visited since. But there's no point in only looking at the past. I have to try the new gyoza for myself. Their popular dishes are the Ogre Hell Gyoza and Final Dragon Gyoza? Hard to imagine those are names for food. It doesn't matter what their names are, what matters is how they taste. It's good to be adventurous. <laughs> You're right. Although, that's not something you would have said just a short while ago. Perhaps. I was too stubborn. I need to be less afraid of trying new things. I'll honor Masaki's memory by enjoying what life I have left. You look at peace. I think you've gotten younger. Don't be ridiculous. But a weight has been taken off my shoulders. It's been a while since I felt this way. All right. Let's try these surprise gyoza then. Eat as much as you like. It's my treat. Maybe we can take some back to the hideout for everyone. That's a good idea. I just hope they taste as strange as their names. No kidding. Yuito, will you train with me later? I work harder when someone is with me. Sure. Oh, but take it easy on me. You train pretty hard. Got it. I'll be careful. I mean, I'm not going to try and crush you with weights or anything. I'm devoting myself to becoming your shield. That's what I think is most important right now. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Do whatever you think is right, Yuito. Thanks. I don't have to second guess anything when you're with me. Is that it? Um, uh, trying something new sometimes reminds me of old memories. It's strange. Some things are just too new for me, though. I never imagined that food that expo uh, explodes if you don't eat it fast enough would exist. <laughs> The final dragon gyoza surprised me too, with the fire breathing and explosions. I couldn't even pay attention to the weird flavor. Seriously. I'm always finding new things with you. I hope we can do it again. <gasps> Friends. Okay, Sagumi so doesn't have one new. Why is it? Why is it that the Fraser siblings just kind of hang out in the kitchen by the back nook? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Do you have a event? No? Wow! Everybody's bonding events up and none, which means I can move on with the story. Next time, thank you for watching. I sincerely hope that you enjoy the video. That you're staying safe, wearing a mask whenever possible, all those things. Thank you for watching. Uh, all the things, uh, all the things, I got a message, <laughs> that's why my brain shut off, I got a text message, and I was reading it while doing my outro. <laughs> Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye!